So, ladies and gents, Alex Kurtzman has had his deal renewed by CBS. This is fascinating. I've been saying this for a really, really long time. I, I just can't get round the fact that these people keep failing up. Um, Jasper Cameo. Uh, these people do keep failing up, and I'm so shocked. There's... I don't understand. Genuinely don't understand. Now, this would make sense if Alex Kurtzman was a success, but he's actually not. Viewing figures for the stuff that he produces via Secret Hideout for CBS are quite bad. Um, that's not something which we can really debate. It's pretty plain and clear, and that's the case. So it seems very strange that CBS keep renewing contracts with him. And this one, in fact, it puts him as one of the top tier earners. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So let's dive into it today. This was over on Deadline. Alex Kurtzman, the top producer on CBS Studios' roster and architect of the studio's Star Trek universe, that is failing, has closed a massive new nine figures, nine figure deal for his secret hideout banner. So there's no financial terms that have been disclosed, but the individuals uh, over at Deadline, Nelly Andreeva, uh, says that they believe it's about in the 150 million range, which does put Kurtzman in the very top tier of television writer producers. Does he does he deserve it? I don't think so. This isn't me just trying to mindlessly hate. I, I look at like what they actually produce and I'm stumped for anything of serious note. Like when um, Benioff and Weiss came out with Game of Thrones, right? And then th they signed massive deals after that. Those are people where you can look at and you can go, look, despite the last season, it makes sense that they got really big deals. Why? Well, because Game of Thrones was a huge success. It was a cultural phenomenon. But Alex Kurtzman's done nothing of note like that. He's taken the reins of other people's properties. Star Trek, you know, a cultural phenomenon. And then made it less popular. So, so strange. So strange. I mean, the agreement will keep Kurtzman's secret hideout at CBS Studios through 2026. Giving the studio exclusive rights to the company's projects for all platforms, including a series adaptation of Stephen King's short story, The New York Times at Special Bargain Rates. Uh, and additionally, Kurtzman will remain at the helm of the growing Star Trek franchise for the next six years. Wow. Wow. Uh, Heather Cardin will continue to lead the Secret Hideout content team, along with SVP Aaron Bayers and Director of Development Robin Johnson. Under the new deal, Secret Hideout will expand its ranks with additional executive hires. It's all—it's almost like they're just money laundering at this point. Like I know they're not, but I—he's not good. I don't understand why he's why is why is it being renewed? One hundred and fifty million. But the viewing figures have been going down consistently. It doesn't make sense. It actually doesn't make sense. Now, this is the second consecutive time CBS Studios has stepped up to re-up Kurtzman with two years left on his deal. The prolific writer, producer, director launched Secret Hideout in 2016 with a four-year overall deal at CBS Studios and Cardin and Bayers as his top executives. Two years later, he's on a new five-year overall deal with a studio at the time valued at around 25 million. What has made him worth suddenly 125 million more? Negative press and bad shows. Uh, that put him in charge of expanding the Star Trek franchise and back then there was one Star Trek series. Discovery three years later, Kurtzman and his team have grown the Star Trek franchise to five live action and animated series of Paramount Plus. The company also recently produced the Commie Rule uh, and has the upcoming series, The Man Who Fell to Earth. All of which I don't have mega faith in. Now, this, this is what they said, right? This is what they said. This is the CEO of CBS. Extending our valuable partnership with the brilliant Alex Kurtzman and Secret Hideout has been a top priority for CBS and Paramount+. Plus. This is George Cheeks. And he says further, Alex's vision and leadership of the Star Trek franchise and his ability to create artistic and commercial series across all platforms 
put him in a special class of creative talent. Star Trek Picard ripped off, I believe, Mass Effect, didn't it? Like, a lot of people said it ripped off Mass Effect. It's, it's ripped off basically everything. I mean, it's not really creative talent, is it? When you're, you know, your idea is a derivative tripe. Anyway, so the much higher value of the new six-year deal for Kurtzman and Secret Hideout than their previous one reflects a far more competitive talent marketplace. I, I, I'm just going to say this, George Cheeks, my dude, or Chex, whatever your bloody name is, Cheeks Chex. If you got rid of him, I'm sure you'd actually be able to get better talent. Just saying. Just throwing it out there, bro. I don't know. But, you know, maybe there's better people out there. Spoiler alert, there is. Uh, overall deals for prolific top showrunners have gone up dramatically in the last few years, driven by streamers' aggressive pursuit of A-list creators. They're putting him as an A-list creator. There's no justice in the world. Uh, traditional studios have had to step up to secure their key producers, which CBS Studios has done with new overall deals for Kurtzman and fellow prolific creators Robert and Michelle King. Well, there we go. Uh, anyway, there's more. The pay increase also recognises the success Kurtzman and Secret Hideout have had at the studio. Making this an easy bet. I didn't think it was that much. Like, if I go... Honestly... Everyone bangs on about Rotten Tomatoes, don't they, right? So if I go Star Trek Discovery, Rotten Tomatoes... Everyone bangs on about it. It's got 41% audience score. All, all of these mainstream media pundits always bang on about Rotten Tomatoes. Only when it suits them. Not now. 41% average audience score. That's not good. That's real bad. Real bad. So where's the success? Anyway, there's further stuff. So president of CBS Studios chimed in here and says, Alex and Secret Hideout have been extraordinary partners who, through their prolific output of high-quality shows, 41%, have honestly... 41... 40, God damn, 41%. I'm going to show you just so you don't think I'm Billy bullshitting you. Again, remember, prolific, high profile, great content, 41%. I'm just going to put this here. <laughs> I'll put this down here. 41%, ladies and gents, 41%. <sighs> high quality shows have allowed our studio to grow exponentially, said David Stapp, president of CBS Studios. Alex's vision and breadth of interest, 41%, is unmatched as he and his team have reignited the Star Trek franchise, 41%, uh, with five brilliantly unique series, while at the same time creating long-running hit series for both the network and premium spaces. I mean, for God's sake, there's no justice. No justice. Uh, but anyway, we, we got some commentary uh, from Kurtzman. He says, CBS has been my home for over a decade. Because the incomparable David Staff always finds a way to demonstrate his decency and creative passion, not just for the work we do, but for the many people who do it. In David Nevins, I found a rare breed executive with auteur taste and the guts to take chances who's encouraged us to create premium streaming and cable that pushes boundaries. Uh, and over the last year, I've had the extraordinary privilege of being eyewitness to the steady leadership George Cheeks Checks has brought to CBS. Ladies and gents, Alex Kurtzman, great success, 41%. There you go, 41%. Real bad, real bad. There you go, ladies and gents. If I go to Alex Kurtzman on Rotten Tomatoes and I look at the other things he's been doing recently, right? Because that's important, right? Let's look at what he's been doing recently. So, Star Trek Lower Decks, 49% audience score. Clarice, 60% audience score. Star Trek Discovery, 41% audience score. The Commie Rule, 68%. Um, Star Trek Picard, 55%. I mean, it's not screaming creative talent, is it? It's screaming negativity. That's just a quick... Yeah, a quick rundown. Lowest rated is 16% The Mummy. Fuck, that film was bad. Uh, let me know what you think of this. It, there you go. He's in charge for another... Well, six years. Through to 2026. So, this year. 2026 as well. So, yeah, six years. Wow. Let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care.